Hi, this is Dan Thies from Stompernet with a quick AdWords lesson for you that I call Split Testing Secrets of the AdWords Ninja. Don't worry, we won't get into anything too complicated. To be honest with you, I'm often surprised by how few people are aware that they have these options when testing ads in Google AdWords. Let's kick this off with a few things you might not know about. The first one is rotation, and I'll talk about rotation in a moment and let you understand how that works and how you can take control of your ad tests. Then we'll get into duplication, which is a very important technique that really helps you reduce the risk uh, that you take when you're testing new ads. Then we'll move on and talk about focusing your ad testing on the right elements of your ad and your campaign. Finally, I'm going to talk briefly about analyzing your results to maximize your return on investment. The first piece of this puzzle is ad rotation. And it's amazing to me how many people think that they're testing ads, but they don't have their setting right, and so they actually are only testing one ad. To get your settings right, go into your campaign settings for each of your campaigns and look down at the bottom of the screen for the ad serving options. The default at Google will be to show better performing ads more often or optimize, but what you want to do is rotate or show your ads evenly. This allows you to split test your ads and take control of the number of impressions that each ad will get. Optimized delivery is the default, but you need to change it because it will not optimize your campaign for you. What it will do is select the, the ad that gets the most clicks early on and favor that ad to the exclusion of others. Split testing is important because it lets you improve your click-through rate, which also drives your position higher. I just need to make sure that everyone understands these basics before we move on into the ninja stuff. The first ninja technique I want to teach you about is called ad duplication. Before we get to that, I want to make sure everyone understands that when I refer to the control, I'm talking about your best performing ad in an ad group. So you've got an ad that's performing extremely well. Maybe it's uh, more profitable than, than anything you've ever run before in your life. Do you still want to split test? Well. Of course you do, but you might not want to do a 50-50 split when you have a really good ad that's working and it's been working for you for quite a while. You might not want to give your ad impressions to a test ad. So don't do it that way. Nine copies of the control ad plus one test ad will give you a 90-10 split. It's very simple. You go into your ad group, you click the button uh, to create a new text ad, and you just make copies, identical ads with the exact same ad. When you have nine copies of your control, then you can add your test ad, or you can put your test ad in first, it doesn't really matter, and then you have 90% of your ad impressions with that equal rotation going to your best performing ad, and only 10% of your ad impressions are going to the test ad. So this reduces your risk quite a bit of continuing to test new ads as you run a campaign. Here's a quick example screenshot. We've taken an ad that's already working well, and all we've done is simply duplicate that ad, and then we're going to hit save, and we'll keep on moving and make multiple copies of the same ad. Now let's talk about focusing your testing on the right ad elements. Now before we move on to actual data that I'd like to share with you, I want to make sure that we're all speaking the same language. So when I talk about the headline, I'm talking about the first 25 characters in your ad, which is the blue underlined link that Google displays. Then you have two lines of 35 characters, which represent your offer. And then finally, you have a display URL, which is shown that's 35 characters long. You also have a destination URL, which tells Google where to send the traffic when someone clicks on your ad. This is a really cool slide, and I'm glad I can share it with you. What you're looking at here is some uh, data mining results that came out of a client's campaign, where we actually took a look at what the different activities, the different testing activities we did, what the overall impact on our final return on investment was. The headline, by far, out of all the visible ad elements, had the greatest impact. The offer was next, and the display URL was really not something that made a huge difference for us in the overall results. The big surprise to me, though, was how much of a difference it made to play with the different things on the landing page itself, the destination URL. And when you're talking about ad testing, you can't really talk about ad testing in a professional sense without talking about the landing pages as well. So the message here is clear. Split test your landing pages. Ad elements can definitely influence conversion. A good offer can make a huge difference in conversion, and a bad offer can really hurt you. But the difference that these things can make is not nearly as much as changes to the landing pages. So as I said, you certainly want to split test your ad elements to improve your click-through rate, but don't ignore what happens after you get the click. It's half of the puzzle, at least, in driving profits to your site. 
To split test two landing pages, you may think that you need special software on your server, but you really don't. All you really need to do is create two landing pages and split test them from the AdWords side. Just use the ad duplication technique that I showed you and change the destination URL. So if you have a top performing ad and a great landing page that as far as you're concerned is profitable for you, you might want to test that same ad but with different landing pages. And maybe you wouldn't want to send half of your traffic to a new landing page and half of your traffic to your best performing landing page. So do ad duplication, split it up, do an 80-20 split. Do a 90-10 split with ad duplication. You have complete control of how many impressions you want to give to any test. Finally, let's talk about how we're going to analyze the results of our tests and make sure that we're doing a good job. Google's conversion tracking code is extremely useful, in particular if you can track the amount of revenue per sale, but even if you can't track that, the cost per conversion can be a great way for you to compare the results of two tests. You can also get Google Analytics linked into your AdWords account, and that will tell you a lot of things that are really useful. For example, in your analysis in Google Analytics, you can determine your average revenue at each position. So you can determine how much money you made per click for the ad at the number one spot and how much money you made per click for the ad at the number three spot. It may surprise you if you've been trying to bid down to lower positions to save on cost that you're actually costing yourself a lot of sales and profits by moving down the page. With custom filters set up well, on an analytics profile, you can actually determine the exact keywords that were used on broad match ad groups, and sometimes, folks, those will surprise you. Things that are completely irrelevant and things that you would have never heard of, and it really is important to understand what terms are driving traffic on those broad matches. You're probably wasting a lot of money. Finally, Google Analytics will actually tell you the ROI for different ad versions, whereas conversion tracking will tell you your cost per conversion. It won't tell you the amount of the sale necessarily. With Google Analytics and the right revenue tracking set up for Google Analytics, you can actually determine a lot of that other type of information that you'd want to know to make an intelligent decision between two different ads, between two different landing pages. The big thing you need to understand, folks, is if all you measure is the click-through rate, you're screwed. I have done so many dumb things with offers on AdWords campaigns that I've worked on in tests that you wouldn't believe if you only checked the click-through rate on one of them we would have lost ten thousand dollars a day. Fortunately we were running good analytics and were able to switch that test off after only a few hours. I hope this has been helpful for you and if it has been I hope to work with you again soon.